everybody, welcome back to another episode of Majora's Arsenal. Today we're going to be testing out the World War I Doughboy helmet against a couple of calibers. Now, the helmet itself supposedly was originally designed for shell fragments and uh, debris coming down into the trenches. It was a copy from the British Brody helmet, which in turn was a copy from the uh, medieval war hat. So anyway, we're going to test the ballistics capability out of it and see how well it stands up against a... 1941 Mosin-Nagant, 1906 Carl Gustav, and the 1903 Springfield. We're going to test it at a range of 50 yards and see how it performs. So let's get started. First on the list, the 1906 Carl Gustav shooting a 6.5 by 55 caliber rifle or uh, cartridge. Let's see how I did. All right, so see how this one did. Now I hit it twice. Yikes. Two entries and two exits. It's definitely not a good, not very good against the Swedish rifles. Let's see how it stands up against the Mosin Nagant. I was using match grade ammo, so I could explain the, the bulging out there. That's crazy. Alright, let's see what the Mosin Nagant will do. Alright, the Mosin Nagant 7.62 by 54. About to see what it can do. Okay, let's see what the 30-06 Springfield can do. I'm using a 150 grain soft point for this. A little bit different than what would have been used in World War One, but. Uh... Alright, so I saw the wire rim come off. Yep, wire rim came completely off. That's the exit. Oh, That's probably the entry, and it probably keyholed up there. Impressive stuff. There's the wire rim. Alright, so we're going to try this a few more times. Well, there you have it. Uh, the World War I 1917 helmet does not do well against large caliber rifles that would have been used during the war, such as the Carl Gustav uh, M96, although I don't think that exactly saw service in World War I. It would have been something similar. Um, it went right through it. All right. As you can see here, it did not even glance around. It just went straight through. Okay, and that's with like a hollow point type bullet. And uh, that's their match grade ammunition. The soft point 
30-06 would not even go through, or went through it. Did not deflect at all. So all these myths that, you know, a helmet is supposed to deflect around doesn't exactly hold true to these all-style helmets. It's just going to punch right through. Today's modern Kevlar, yes, it's possible. Uh, there's several videos on YouTube about it where it's gone through the layers of Kevlar and it's gone around or it's exited through the back. I think Mike Birch even did one where it went around the guys, or around the head. So, anyway, this is kind of an interesting test and uh, I wanted to get you guys' opinion. Uh, we did hit over a thousand subscribers, so I wanted to do something a little unusual. Alright, now if I can get myself a German helmet from World War One and test out, that would be fantastic, but I don't want to pay $450 and, uh, to shoot it, but it would be really cool. Um, so if anybody knows of one that's cheap, maybe like a rusted out one or something, I would be more than happy to test it. So, anyway, this is the 1917 helmet used by the World War One U.S. Doughboys in France, and this is to kind of dispel some of the myths that it was... <laughs> that it could uh, have a bullet go around the helmet. It's just not possible, folks. It's just going to punch right through it, and that's been shown today. Uh, this helmet I'm going to give away when we reach 2,000 uh, subscribers. So, what I want you to do for this video is I want you to comment below and tell me what you thought of the video. And once we hit 2,000 subscribers, you also have to share this. All right. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be sending this helmet free to anybody or to somebody randomly through the list. All right. I'm going to have a random uh, counter, and we're going to go through it. And uh, hopefully you guys can win a really cool piece of history that has been tested out from Madras Arsenal. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your support and uh, appreciate all that you guys have done so far. Couldn't have gotten to 1,000 subscribers without you guys. So stay tuned for more really cool stuff, and I will see you here shortly.